Today we've got the top 10 hidden gem strikers in Football Manager 2022. All these guys have the potential to be wonder kids at the start of the game. I'm going to be showing you them in 10 years time. Like this guy, I think he's on my right here. And they are all absolutely sick. So don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe if you want more content exactly like this in your life. And without further ado, let's talk about Miguel Fegley, right? Is that how you say it? I don't know. He's got dribbling, finishing, both 16 here in 2031. Pick him up for peanuts at the start of the game. First touch 15. Penalty taking 16 as well. Composure, determination, agility, and strength. My scout tells me he enjoys big matches, is a fairly consistent performer, is a spirited individual, and his average rating is 7.15 over the years. So that is very, very good indeed. Karim Kanate then starts off as a 17-year-old Ivorian. Pick him up again for absolutely peanuts. You can see he's got pace, strength, bravery. He can dribble, he's got vision he's a good good player right he's playing for Wolves here in 2031 my scout tells me again a fairly consistent performer a balanced to normal personality average rating over the years is 7.01 so we're above, above seven and he's hit 14 goals in one season here for Bordeaux 17 goals the season before and 13 goals for Wolves in 2030. Ethan Laidlaw is absolutely insane on this particular save and don't forget guys like different saves are different some players may be uh, they don't reach their potential on your save, or maybe they do on others' save. But this is what Ethan Laidlaw could look like. He could be better, but this is like a good example of Ethan Laidlaw. 16 dribbling, finishing 18, first touch 16. At the start of the game, I think he's playing for Hibs, and again, fairly cheap to pick him up. Um, you might know him, you might know him already if you're around the football manager community, etc. You've probably heard of him, but I'm assuming for most of you, he's probably going to be a hidden gem. Acceleration, pace stamina determination and decisions do let me know down below though if he's not a hidden gem for you i do get comments like that quite a lot oh this player isn't a hidden gem etc etc so i do always like your feedback in terms of the scout report again we've got a fairly consistent performer relishes big matches which is something which is absolutely key for like a world-class player 22 goals in the 2022 season here for hibs and then Leeds pick him up for 13 million. And he stayed there. He hasn't hit double figures, though, in terms of goals for Leeds. But you can see his average rating is pretty good with 6.94. Martin Satriano next. A current ability of 159 here on this save, which is very, very good indeed. You can see his physicals are great. His finishing and composure are both 15, which is key to scoring goals, right? Those two attributes themselves. Good mentality. Good physicality. Again, looking at the scout reports, we've got a fairly consistent performer. A nice green color there 7.07 .07 in terms of average rating over the years and bagged 20 goals for inter milan in 2024 jonathan bucaret next pick him up at the start of the game pretty cheap to be fair acceleration pace natural fitness agility he's got great work rate 17 and teamwork 17 as well definitely a hard working striker an experienced striker here 10 years into the future. In terms of scout reports, I've got fairly consistent performer, fairly determined attitude, relishes big matches, an average rating of 7.07 .07 in the league over the years, scoring 14 goals, followed by 12 goals, followed by 10 goals, starting in 2021, and then 12 goals in 2026 as well. Callum Kavanagh then, if you're after an Irish player, he's either footed, he's an experienced striker again here in 20. 31 agility dribbling finishing off the ball technique are this guy's fortes looking at scout reports consistent performer balanced personality great pace average rating of 6.88 definitely a decent player and now we head into our top four marcus leandro finishing composure anticipation agility stamina all green or above as well as 17 off the ball he's 28 years old here in 10 years time and he is an elite striker according to the media my scout my scout report tells me fairly determined attitude enjoys big matches is a consistent performer my history tells me he's had 7.23 average rating over the years he's got 30 goals in 2022 this guy is insane 2024 he scored 19 goals in 2026, he scored 17 goals. In 2028, he scored 20 goals. Get hold of this guy. So we've had Marcos Leandro. This time, it's just Marcos. He's playing for Chelsea here in 10 years time. His acceleration is 17, agility 16, pace 16, finishing 16, first touch 16, head in 16. 
He's got a lot of stats where you want them, exactly where you want them, right? Off the ball 16 as well. This guy, if he hasn't scored like a million goals, I don't know what's going on. My scout tells me he's a spirited individual, but apart from that, we've got a couple of things which may not be too desirable. Tendency not to get stuck into rough challenges. Uh, likely to find it difficult to fit in with the core social group. A uh, fairly selfish player. That's probably good, to be fair, for a striker. History-wise, though, you can see, look, goals. 11 goals, 17 goals. I would expect more from this guy. 6.88 is his average rating over the years. Playing for Sporting, Arsenal, Milan, Bayern Munich, and most recently, Chelsea for 42 million. Leighton Stewart makes it into the top two. Of course he does. He's a favorite here on this channel. Just look at the stats he's got here in this save. 18 acceleration, agility, 17 balance, dribbling, finishing, and first touch. He's got the holy trinity, which I speak about so much, as well as composure of 19. What an absolute beast. In terms of scout report, a balanced and normal personality, fairly consistent performer, possesses great pace and has great composure, which we saw with the 19, right? Average rating 6.92, which isn't quite the 7 that you'd expect. And again, you'd expect him to score a lot more goals than the 13 he had in 2029 being his highest total. With those stats, you'd expect more output from Leighton Stewart. Let me know down below if he's done good for you. Top of the list then, Lorenzo Luca. We couldn't make this video without putting him in. And if you are like already involved maybe in Football Manager or been looking at Strikers, etc., you'd have heard of him. You'd have heard of him because these hidden gems don't stay hidden for long, right? But if you're new to the game, potentially he may be a hidden gem for you. We just couldn't leave him out. Couldn't leave him out, pick him up for cheap at the start of the game. Finishing 17, composure 17, determination 17, head in 18 here in 10 years' time. Jump and reach 90. He's just the GOAT, right? He's just the GOAT. I have to put him in. My scout tells me he enjoys big matches, consistent performer, spirited individual, all the things you would want. And history-wise, we can see goals, goals, goals. 25 goals in 2027 for Paris Saint-Germain, followed by 17, 12, and 19. 24 goals in 2022, 21 goals in 2023. Average rating of 7 point three six which is huge that is your list do hit like and hit subscribe if you'd like to download this short list can't remember which side it's on consider becoming a patron i think for two dollars or two pounds you can download all of the short lists that we use for every single video thanks again for watching hit like hit subscribe see you soon